Today's video is powered by davidfranco.com slash forum. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from davidfranco.com slash forum or slash ask. They both lead to the same exact page, which is the Ask David Forum. Now this page has been around for quite some time, but I gotta be honest, I don't pay as much attention to it as I should. But from this point forward, let's change that. But we can only change that if I get your questions coming in. So post them right below using that link in the video description, davidrocka.com slash forum. All right, so today's question comes from ejenki01, and he or she says, I think it's a he, he says, I have a mid-2012 Retina MacBook Pro 15-inch and was wondering if it would be worth getting the new 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro, which is right here, with 16 gigabytes of RAM as a secondary and school machine. So Ejenki, this is an awesome question and I picked this question for one specific reason. I love my 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro. This is the best thing I've ever purchased. Okay, maybe not the best thing ever, but one of the best things I've ever purchased because it really has been that significant in my workflow. Allow me to explain. So first of all, I gotta say, this thing is convenient as hell. It basically allows me to do my work as if I'm home, but away from home. And that, my friends, is just a beautiful thing. In the past, I've been stressed, like if I have to stay the night at my parents' house and I'm working my dad the next morning, I'm like, but wait a minute, I have to edit this video, I have to edit the weekend vlog, I have to do these website updates for a client, I have to handle all my email. Those problems are no more because I can literally pick up where I left off with my Retina MacBook Pro. And I love it for that. This thing is pretty much a godsend. Honestly, I cannot imagine my workflow without it. That's how significant this thing is in my life. So Ejenki, I'm pretty sure you feel the same way. You love your 15 inch MacBook Pro, but you do mention that you're looking to use this newer MacBook Pro as a secondary end school machine. And I gotta say, I am fully on board with your decision. Now granted, you posted this back in July, so there's a pretty good chance you've already purchased the MacBook Pro, but I'm gonna explain to you how I feel anyway. Move forward with the purchase because I love 13 inch notebooks. They're small, they're convenient, they're portable as hell, and they're powerful as hell. This is basically a Mac Pro on the go. It's pretty damn close with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a more than capable GPU, a beautiful Retina display, and plenty of performance. This thing simply does not disappoint. Although with that said, I do have to be honest, the GPU, in my opinion, is a little weak in the 13 inch model. You do notice some frame rate skips here and there, but it's nothing worth crying over because this thing is a portable powerhouse and it actually exports videos faster than my Mac Pro does. And that is a huge, huge deal. Okay, so I think this is partly in thanks to the SSD because apparently the SSD is a lot faster on the MacBook Pro line than it is on the Mac Pro. And honestly, I think that's kind of sad, Apple. You need to update your Mac Pro. What the hell is taking you so long? But yes, this thing is a portable powerhouse in terms of video editing, 3D animation, it's more than capable. Obviously, it's good at office documents, email, social media, all that stuff. And of course, you cannot forget the MacBook Pro, actually all Intel Macs for that matter, do allow you to install Windows natively. So if you need Windows 10 and Mac OS on the same computer, the MacBook Pro could be the perfect computer for you. All right, so moving on to the next point of this video, I wanna share some of my favorite accessories that I've been using with my MacBook Pro. First of all, you gotta get yourself a portable hard drive. This thing has 512 gigs of SSD storage, which isn't bad, but for my longer video projects, such as my weekend vlogs and pages only vlogs, I typically like to at least export to my external hard drive. Sometimes I edit using the internal SSD, but then I'll export to my external Western Digital. Or maybe I'll just do both on the Western Digital. That's the thing, I definitely think you need to have an external hard drive. I don't care if your MacBook Pro has a one terabyte SSD, you need external storage. Especially if you're like me and you need to work on multiple computers, such as my MacBook Pro and my Mac Pro. And sometimes I even get some work done on my iPad, which isn't so bad. And of course, we cannot forget about iCloud storage. I definitely recommend upgrading your iCloud storage I honestly can't imagine my life without iCloud. I'm so used to saving my graphic design files in the cloud from my MacBook Pro that I can pick up and finish those projects on my Mac Pro and vice versa. And that's a big deal. Now granted, you can do this on many other services like Dropbox and whatever, but because iCloud is directly integrated into Mac OS, that's just more convenience for you, the user. Now going back to accessories for a second, there is one more thing that I think you should purchase and that is the Campus Commuter 
from Case Crown. This bag is just phenomenal because it allows you to hold both a 13 inch notebook as well as a tablet. So for instance, I currently use my Case Crown campus commuter for both my MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro, as well as some cables, my external hard drive, and my power adapter for the MacBook Pro. Oh, and also I have to mention, downgrading from a 15 inch notebook to a 13 inch notebook may seem tough at first, but if you install an app called Display Menu on your MacBook Pro, that allows you to use higher resolutions on your Retina display than Apple normally would. So definitely check that out, Display Menu, I'll also link that right below. And speaking of right below, everything I mentioned in this video is right below, from my MacBook Pro, to the case crown bag, to my portable external hard drive, all of it is on davidsthings.com. And actually, I have a page completely dedicated to just my MacBook Pro setup. So finally wrapping in this video, there is one more very important thing I wanna say. If you're serious about getting a MacBook Pro right now, don't, seriously, don't. There are some major upgrades rumored to be happening to the um, MacBook Pro line in general, including that rumored OLED display, which in my opinion, could be quite useful. So keep an eye out, we should see an invite for some kind of October Pro event in the coming weeks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. E. Jenke, I hope this video helped. Guys, keep these questions coming in, davidfranco.com slash forum, I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.